Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to this tutorial in which we are going to fill PDF forms using Power Automate. So before we get into the actual demo and build the solution, let's understand the use case. So here in my SharePoint, I have a list with some pre-populated data such as name, date of travel and description. I have a form which looks like this. It has similar fields such as name, date of travel and description. What I want to do is I want to fill the data from the SharePoint list into this form and then save the form back into my SharePoint. So that being said, let's quickly build a solution. So for building the solution, we first need to export this particular template or the fields from this template as an XML or an XFDF or an FDF. How do we do that? Let's first fill in some dummy data in this form and let's save it. Right, I have saved my form. The next step would be to upload this dummy filled data form in my SharePoint. So I'll upload it into my documents document library real quick. Perfect. So the form has been uploaded. Next, I want to go and export the fields out of that form or exp export the template out of that form. To do that, I'm going to use a manual flow. I'll click on new step and here I will type in SharePoint and I'll say get file content using path. I'll select my site collection and I'll select the library and the file. Perfect. Next, I want to export the form template. So I'll click on Muhimbi and I'll type in export PDF form data. Here I will put in a dummy name test PDF because we just need the template and I'll export it as an XML file. Next, I'll add a compose action so that I can go ahead and log the exported data. So Mohimbi exports the content as base64. We want to convert it as a string. So I'm going to use the base64 to string formula and I'm going to pass in the processed file content which is the output of the export action. At this point I'm going to give my flow a name and I'll save it. I'll test my flow. Perfect. So in the compose action you see the form fields or the form is exported. So I need to copy this and I'll keep it on notepad. Next, what I want to do, I want to go and fill in the form. And this is the second part of my Power Automate. To do that, again, I'll create an instant flow because I already have the list populated and it's a one-time activity. So I'm going to use the manual trigger. So the next step, get the file content or to get the template content from SharePoint. So I'll say SharePoint and I'll say get file content using path and I'll select the file path. I'll use the same travel expense form. Next, what I want to do is get the items from my list. So I'll say get items. I'll give it a site address and I'll select the list. So it's travel details. Next, I'm going to add a compose action. The compose action in the compose action, I'm going to paste the template that I exported previously. And here, my friends, I'm going to remove the old fields and I'm going to update them with the new fields. So the new fields would be the fields that are returned by my SharePoint. So I'm going to give it the first field as title. So the name will include the title. It will automatically decorate it in the apply to each loop because get items return an array. So name one would be the description and date would be the date of travel. Perfect. At this point, I have the data being populated in my compose and that will act as a template which I'm going to import into my form. The next step would be to import the data into the template. So I'm going to use the Mohimbi connector. So Mohimbi and then I'm going to type in import. So import PDF form data. To this, I'll pass in the source file name. So the source file name, we will select title, which is the name of the person, dot XML. Okay, this is very important because we are going to pass in the compose, which is actually an XML. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pass in the XML content as the file content. And finally, I'm going to pass in the file content which is the PDF form file content. At this point I can also pass in the URL to the PDF form 
I can give it a username, a domain and a password if needed. I can also flatten the PDF, but at this point I will say no, don't flatten the PDF. If somebody wants to edit the form later and fill in the details, they can do that. Do you want the form to be in read-only mode? No, I don't want that to be. I want the users to edit the form if they need it in the future. At this point, I can then add my SharePoint action and I can type in create, create file. I can select the site address. I'll select the library where I want to add the file. So it's travel request. File name would be the base file name dot PDF. And the file content would be the processed file content, which is the output of the import file action. I'll save my flow. You don't need to worry about the get items action and I'll manually start my flow. So our flow has completed successfully. Let's go back to our SharePoint. And here you see that the PDFs are being created. Let's quickly open one of the PDF in the browser and let's see if the data is filled in correctly. Yes, my friends, the data is filled in. It tells me David wants to travel to Thailand on this date. If we compare it with the travel list, he indeed needs to travel to Thailand. I hope this tutorial was informative. Thank you for your time and bye-bye.